Meet three Estonian e-citizens, Lee, Martin, and their son, Hugo. While at school, Hugo accidentally broke his arm. The treatment he received can easily be seen by his mother through the patient portal. To enter the patient portal, Lee uses her digital identity, which is tied to her unique personal identification code. This is her doorway into the national health system, where healthcare providers gather medical data related to herself, her underage children, and her grandmother, Viva, who has given her authorization. This way, Lee has an overview of everything related to Hugo's treatment, including doctor's description of the x-ray, as well as the list of prescribed medications. Estonian healthcare providers and people with authorization are allowed to access the medical data, though the patient can always revoke this right. Every query made about the patient is logged, which makes the system reliable and traceable. Now that Lee is fully informed and at peace, she can start comforting Hugo. Lee has to go to the pharmacy to buy medication for her son Hugo and her grandmother Viva. Estonia uses digital prescriptions, which means Lee only has to provide identification and her son's personal ID code. The pharmacist can access the system to see prescribed medication. After providing her grandmother's personal identification code, Lee can buy medicine for her as well. Digital prescriptions make it much easier for Lee to take care of herself and her loved ones. Last year, Martin had a traffic accident. Nothing too serious, but as a result of the collision, he hit his head that caused a small bleeding. This is usually harmless. The dispatcher of the emergency service, who has to stay in touch with the caller and the ambulance crew, can use Martin's personal ID code to query the health information system for his medical records. The system will automatically fill in a form and provide the medical data about Martin to the ambulance car that is rushing to the scene. Martin has hemophilia, which means that his blood does not clot. This information allows for the right decisions to be made quickly on the spot. On their way to the hospital, the ambulance crew assesses Martin's condition and forwards this to the health information system through which the doctors can automatically access Martin's medical records, including the results of his most recent tests and e-consultations with the family physician and medical specialists. This allows the hospital to make any preparations necessary and quickly come to the aid of the patient. All ends well thanks to fast information exchange and Martin is sent home to recover. It's been a few weeks since Hugo broke his arm. His family physician removes the cast and discovers a strange rash underneath. She consults a dermatologist using e-consultation. It's an efficient way for a family physician to consult with a specialist and save everyone's time. The dermatologist, who can also access the medical records about Hugo, gives recommendations for further treatment. This provides the best possible care, and Hugo is glad he's well again. Lee receives an email notification through the state portal that her driver's license is about to expire. To renew her license, Lee needs a medical certificate, which is issued after a medical checkup. Before going to the doctor, Lee first opens the patient portal to fill out a health declaration. After she signs it digitally, the declaration can be accessed by the doctor. It gives her the information about Lee's health in advance. The pre-filled declaration makes the visit quicker. The health certificate is immediately sent to the National Road Administration, and all Lee has to do is apply for license renewal using the information system of the Road Administration. This will only take a few minutes, and in a few days, she will receive her new license by mail.
If Lee's family would move abroad, being able to take their medical data with them would make life easier for the doctor, who would be able to see information about their new patients, as well as Lee's family, who wouldn't have to redo the same procedures. This would provide them with an increased sense of security and satisfaction in their new place of residence.